So this is how to set up your BPQ, or excuse me, your, your Outlook Post um, Outlook Packet Manager to uh, connect to your BPQ node using Telnet. And there are a few steps that you have to uh, do exactly correct or it's you're going to have all sorts of problems. So first thing I'm going to do is do Setup. I'm going to do New BBS. We'll click on the New button. We'll call this BPQ Test. And I'm going to hit click on the Get TNC. And on my system, it takes about 10 seconds or so because it searches through a lot of COM ports. And the next thing we're going to do is say New. And I'm going to call this BPQ um, uh, call this BPQ test as well. I'm going to click on Telnet, and everything will be grayed out. And then we can have the Telnet page. So I'm going to type in my IP address. And my remote port is 8010. And this is critically important, because if you don't have the right prompts, it's never going to send your information. So what I'm going to do is show you how to get that, and I'm assuming you already know how to telnet into your system. So for this, I'm going to use N3MLB. My test password, I'll just say 111, and I'll change that later. But if you notice, this is my prompt. So I want to copy that, and that's going to be my prompt, and it's case sensitive. there's a space in there so case sensitive so now I should be able to connect let's see what happens and it's not doing anything you get this little no user log on record found that's because it doesn't have my login information so the next step you need is your station ID which will have your credentials so under BBS Logins, we're going to hit New. I'm going to hit, uh, we call it a BPQ test. My password was 111. Hit OK. And now it should log me in, right? Let's see what happens. Great, logs me in, but it doesn't go to the BBS because it's going to the node and then it's disconnecting. And that's because we need to configure one other thing under the BBS setup. We're going to go to path, and we're going to tell it that it's a node. So I happen to know that it's N3MLB-6, but I also know that the shortcut or the alias is uh, MLB BBS. My prompt always ends in N3MLB in the greater sign. And the connect command, I'm just going to type a BBS. We'll check that. We'll give it a port 1. And I'm not going to have an unsuccessful connect message, but I'll just type in error and hit apply. So now, when I connect to that node, it's going to want to connect to N3MLB BBS. It'll issue the BBS command. Ah, that's right. So I typed in all this information, but I have to hit new. That creates the record. One of one. Hit apply. And now if I do send and receive, it should log in, issue a BBS command, check for new messages. Let's see what happens. There it is. It's reading my.
Okay, so it downloaded all of my messages, and of course they're duplicates because I've, I've done this already, but I noticed something happened. So I'm going to connect to the BBS through my terminal program, which I'm already connected, and I'm going to say list mine, and I've got no messages found. It downloaded all those messages and then deleted them off the BBS, which is completely fine. I've already read them. However, I don't want it to delete those messages, so I'm going to click on BBS, I'm going to click on retrieving, and I'm going to say keep messages on the BBS. Do not delete them after reviewing. Hit apply, and now any message that I read is going to stay on that BBS. It will mark them as read, though, I believe. So here's all my messages, and of course they're, they're duplicates. But there you go. And I found this new font that'll turn anything. Eh, it's kind of ugly. Okay, we won't do that. And that's how you set up your, um, uh, your outpost to connect to a local BPQ node.